Hey students, my name is Kara, and in this video we're going to be studying civil engineering. So you may be wondering, what does a civil engineer do? Uh, so they are, they are in charge of designing structures and maintaining structures, uh, like bridges, buildings, transportation systems, dams, and water systems. So off to the left, we have a couple pictures just to reference those things. Uh, so obviously we have a bridge, we have some drawings, we have a big water system. Um, so this is a big pond or a lake, um, and it's being controlled by a dam in the front there. Uh, you can see it's like, it looks like a wall. So this dam is in charge of preventing flooding from um, a nearby town or a forest or something. Uh, we want to make sure that our humans and our animals are protected from that huge body of water. And then in the bottom right, we have a contractor who looks like he's installing pipes. Uh, they might be for waste management or to get clean water to our house. So I mentioned that civil engineers are in charge of designing bridges. So these are just a couple popular bridge designs. So you might have driven over some of these without even realizing. So a beam bridge um, is pretty standard. It uh, doesn't even look like a bridge um, unless you realize what's underneath of you. So you might have driven over these when you're driving into Philadelphia or down the shore. You would have driven over um, the Atlantic City Expressway or Route 42 or I-76. These are the big highways that go through South Jersey. Um, and there's a lot of beam bridges hidden um, on the highway. So if you ever notice when there's cars going under you um, in a different direction, that means that you're driving over a bridge. Uh, so a bridge doesn't only hover above water. It is above traffic or uh, some other things that you need to cross over. So you would have driven over a beam bridge uh, because it's usually pretty standard to use a beam bridge in these situations because they keep the flow of traffic nice. Uh, they're not very distracting and they're very easy to build. Um, and then in the bottom right, we have a suspension bridge. And you might have driven over a suspension bridge going into Philadelphia. Uh, the bridge going into Center City is the Ben Franklin Bridge. Uh, it's the big green one. And you might have noticed that there's cables uh, along this bridge. And these are suspension cables. And they are responsible for distributing the force that we are applying to the bridge when we drive over it. So our weight pushes down and those cables pull up so that um, things are all balanced. And then you might be wondering, what did civil engineers do during the pandemic? So this year we experienced something quite different. Um, and civil engineers had to think on their feet and they were tasked with some new tasks that they don't normally practice. Um, so when people were getting sick, there weren't enough places for them to go. Uh, our hospitals were getting filled very quickly. So civil engineers were tasked with designing what we called field hospitals. Um, that way there were more places for patients to go to reach receive treatment. So here, this big picture right underneath of me is um, a picture of a field hospital. So it's just a couple barriers and some beds, and that's really all we needed um, in order to treat patients, um, along with medical devices. But uh, the civil engineers were in charge of creating this facility and making sure that it could hold enough people. They were also tasked with adjusting their current jobs. So construction jobs are going on 24-7, and there were jobs that were going on right before the pandemic hit. So in March, um, they had to put a, put a halt to some of these jobs because we went to lockdown, people weren't allowed to go to work, so civil engineers had to make sure that those jobs could stay put and they were safe for people to um, you know, live around. It, they didn't want anything to collapse while they weren't working or um, you know, things to leak. Uh, so civil engineers had to put their brains to work and think of things that we don't normally have to think of. So you might be wondering, how do um, engineers and architects and construction workers, how do they all work together? So I put this little list together to show you the steps of construction. So first, engineers use math and science to design a structure. So engineers use math and science to do everything. So we, as civil engineers, are in charge of designing the structure using our math and science skills. Um, and then we work with architects to actually draw the structure and get it down on paper or onto our computer so that we could then give it to the construction workers to build the structure. And then engineers are on the job site to make sure the jobs are being built correctly. Uh, we, you know, if the construction worker has any questions, they can ask the engineer on site or the engineer can notice that something isn't being done correctly and they can make sure that we fix that and keep everything safe. 
Um, so now that you have a little bit of knowledge about what civil engineers do, uh, you're going to put your civil engineer brain to work, and we're going to see um, how well you are at that. Um, so you're going to go over to the VIEW website, and you're going to click on the uh, civil engineering experiment video, and you're going to watch my friend Nicole, and she's going to give you a quick little demo of how to do your little experiment. So have fun.